morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to another Days in My Life vlog. So right now we are in the car. Um, my husband just ran into the local store to grab some cash out of the ATM, and then we are going to be heading over to my son Colin's football game. It's a home game today, and we're gonna watch him do his thing, but I don't think I'm gonna get any other content out to you guys um, this week, like by the time you're seeing this video. Um, and our trip is just in like a few short days. So I'm busy like prepping, finishing up final packing, cleaning the house like crazy. Um, but today in this video, you're gonna see us head to his game. It's kind of like the last relaxing day before like we get into crunch time for the trip. So I figured I'd record, take you guys along. I'm going to make some uh, pork chops and fresh ma uh, mashed potatoes tonight. I'm so excited. I don't know why. Like, I've been craving just, like, homemade from scratch mashed potatoes like you make, like, on the holidays. I've just been really craving them. So when I went to the market yesterday, I grabbed some potatoes, and we're going to be making that tonight. So I know it sounds, like, super simple and silly, but I don't know. It's just something that I've, like, been really wanting to have lately. <laughs> I've been craving it, so I grabbed it. Also still battling whatever this cold is. Um, I keep debating on going to the urgent care just to check to make sure I don't need any antibiotics because it's been, oh man, it's been over a week now. Um, but it's weird, I'm not like in pain. It's just uncomfortable in the morning and at night. So I don't know. But anyway, let's get to his game. Hi, Wyatt. I said hi. It's super sunny, huh? So we just got back from Colin's game. Unfortunately, they lost, but they played a really good game. They did really great today. So super proud of them. Um, so now we decided to take a little detour. <laughs> um, it's actually really, really nice outside today. It has not been this nice here in, I can't even tell you, <laughs> weeks, months even. So we really want to take advantage of it. The big kids went to Six Flags with my sister for the day. So Dan and I are going to take the twins over to the local art festival in town, I think. Um, it's today is the last day for it and they're gonna have a couple food trucks and I think they have some hay a hay ride too so I think we can just go over there and walk around and enjoy enjoy the nice weather for a little bit before coming back home and doing what we got to get done <laughs> smells good how's your hot dog All right, so we just got ribs and pulled pork from Johnny's. These ribs, they look so good. We're gonna try them. Ribs. They definitely fall off the bone. They have good flavor, spicy, a little bit. But it's a little cold. But I think they're better than the pulled pork sandwich was. What's happened? There's a bee in our food. Bravo Brew Company. Local. Good stuff. You want to tell the camera what we're drinking? It's an autumn IPA from Bravo Brewing Company. It's really good. Very delicious. guys so it's been a few hours later it's now like just after four I think and I am going to now prep the potatoes um, to boil them for the homemade mashed potatoes um, probably peel and cut them and get them boiled 
and then we'll switch over to the pork chops and then we'll like mash them and get them all together once the pork chops are almost done. So I figured I'd take you guys along my little dinner prep. <laughs> Okay, so now that those are boiling, you're fine. <laughs> I am gonna pull the pork chops out and the stuff to make the pork chops and we're gonna prep those. Okay, so um, for this, I bought the thin slice pork chops just because they cook faster and uh, there's more in a pack um, but most people dredge this in like egg and flour but I don't I like to like you know hack my a lot of my recipes so I take a stick of butter and I'm gonna melt it and then I literally just dredge the pork chops in the melted butter and then we're gonna dip them in the um, breadcrumbs we have gluten-free because of my daughter but I also add salt and pepper and garlic powder to to this to the breadcrumbs as well. And then I usually put a little bit of salt and pepper on the pork chops themselves too. Okay, so as you can see, the butter is melted. I let the butter cool off for maybe like a minute or two, but not too long because then once it gets like really cold, it starts to solidify and you wanna try and dredge your meat in the melted butter before it gets that thick because it does tend to solidify kind of quick. So you have to be sort of fast with this process. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give my pork chops a little pat. Soak up a little bit of that juice and then I'm gonna sprinkle on some pepper and then some salt. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip and dredge and put them in the pan. Okay, our potatoes are boiling, so we're just gonna turn them down to a simmer. Just about a two. This is our high boil burner, so I'll probably actually put it to low. <laughs> um, and we're gonna let those potatoes simmer to get soft. And I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. That's gonna be for the pork chops to go into. These are all dredged and ready to go. I will probably sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on them right before I put them in. And then they take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. They are thin sliced, so they don't take, they don't take that long to cook. Look at how cute they are. I can't. The little family. A good girl. You're a good girl. Okay, so the potatoes are fork tender, which means you can just press the fork through them. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this off. And we are gonna pour these into our strainer and let them cool off. And we're gonna get our pork chops in the oven because it's now preheated. I'm gonna 
gonna set the timer for 20 minutes for now. We'll let that cook for the 20 minutes and then I'll come back and check it and probably let them cook for another five minutes while we mash those potatoes and um, get them all prepped. I'm gonna show you guys what I put in the potatoes when I mash them because I have a secret ingredient that I'm gonna share. Okay, so the timer just beeped. We're gonna take these out and flip them because they're not ready yet. And hopefully they stay together. So not quite as brown as I would like them to be. Um, I've honestly been having a little bit of trouble. Let's see how it's not staying on. I've actually been having a little bit of trouble with my oven lately. I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but anytime I try to cook things at less than 375 or really even 400 degrees, um, it's just taking forever. And I don't know why. But we're gonna pop these back in once I'm flipped. And I am gonna up it just a little bit so that way the rest can cook at a timely manner. And while those are back in cooking for like another five, 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take care of our potatoes. Okay, so for the potatoes, um, we've got some milk, we've got parsley, a little bit of garlic powder, I just do like a dash, and then about a half a stick of butter for, I don't know, this amount of potatoes. <laughs> um, I kind of just eyeball this and I do a lot of it by taste. We're also gonna put some salt and pepper in. I do a good amount of salt, not too much obviously, you don't want it too salty, but then are you ready for my secret ingredient? Sour cream, baby. So we're gonna get this warming up. We're gonna put it to low. I'm kinda just pushing some of this to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and put that half a stick of butter in and, um, and then I'll probably add a little bit in after once it's mashed up. So now we're gonna mash. I kind of like let the butter melt as I start to mash my potatoes. And we're gonna do this until they're like pretty well mashed up. I do like my potatoes a little chunky, but my husband and kids prefer them a little bit creamier, so I like to just kind of meet in the middle with it. Once it gets to like a pretty mushed up consistency, we're gonna add the milk in and the sour cream. Now, obviously, if you guys are um, dairy free, um, you can replace your um, sour cream with dairy free sour cream. I'm just mixing in the butter now. I buy light sour cream because I just can't get over <laughs> the um, super tartness of vegan sour cream, but I do not have an allergy. I'm just very sensitive to it. But if I use, I find if I use like light sour cream and not like too much, I am okay. All right, so this is pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and add the milk and the sour cream now. Okay, so I would say that's about two tablespoons of sour cream, maybe a quarter of a cup. And then I did about a quarter of a cup of milk and I build from here. So like I start with a little bit. Uh, key to this stuff guys is you can always add more but you can never take away. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I added a little bit more milk in and the other half of stick of butter. And I went in and did my salt and pepper. And now we're just gonna mash this until it gets to the perfect consistency, whatever that is for you. And then we'll go ahead and sprinkle in our parsley and our garlic powder. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in that parsley. And y'all, when I say a little, I mean just like a little sprinkle. That's it. Now we're gonna stir this and we should be good to go. Looking good. What do you guys think of the mashed potatoes? Good. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I know you like them a little bit like smoother, but. Mm. That's okay. 
It's hard without the the electric mixer. Yeah. Plus, mommy likes it a little chunky. That's how Papa taught me. Nothing wrong with a little bit of texture. <laughs> All right. So we did like our nighttime routine. Boys had showers. We did some reading. Dinner was really good. I was so excited to have homemade mashed potatoes. They were delicious. So I'm really glad that I made them, even though they are quite a bit of work. <laughs> but now I am just going to edit for the rest of the night while we watch the Patriots game. And, um, and then that'll be it. So thank you guys so much for hanging with us today. I really love hanging out with you guys. And let me know down in the comments what you did over the weekend. That was our Sunday. And the next time you see me and my husband, we'll be in Disney. So, can't wait. <laughs>